Hey, what's up guys? It's Texuma talking to you here. And there's a lot of new leaks lately about the future. When I say about the future, it's like one year away from now. And I'm thinking that all of these leaks are too fast-paced. So, for example, last few days we were getting the iPhone 14 leaks. And before we even saw the iPhone 13, which leaks came out when we were seeing the iPhone 12. So, I think that in the leak world, the leaks move too fast. And so, I want to go slow down a bit, talk about what we can expect in the next few months, mainly about the M1X MacBook Pros and the M1X MacBook Pros event. I think that, that this event is the most overhyped and hyped event of the last few months. And I think that everyone is forgetting about it right now because of the iPhone 14 leak. I think that this event, it's very important to keep in mind that it's happening in just two months and we are getting one of the most powerful computers ever made in terms of power and efficiency ever. We are seeing the M1X chip and we are very excited for it. So this M1X event will feature a lot of new things, probably just like the M1 event. Three new computers and a new chip, where Apple in 45 minutes will explain their desires and their choices for this new Pro lineup. But before we go into that, Roll the intro. So, we are two months away from the M1X event. First, in that event, we're going to see Apple unveil the M1X chip and explain to us what were the improvements and what's the differences between the M1X and the M1. The differences will be the fact that the M1X will feature more cores, while the M1 is a 8-core CPU and 8-core GPU. I think that the M1X will be an 8-core CPU and then we'll have 16-core GPU, 32-core GPU option. So the M1X will have 10 cores in the CPU, 8 high-performance cores and 2 high-efficiency cores. But in the last few leaks that we saw about the M1X chip, it was talked about the fact that the M1X would be like a puzzle. So in the more powerful computers, you will have 2 or 3 M1Xs binded together. So 20 or 30 cores, while the lower high-end computers like the M1X 14-inch and the M1X 16-inch lower options would have just 10 cores. I would bet that only the laptops will feature this low-powered M1X, because the 27-inch iMac will feature the higher-end M1X, just like probably the Mac Pro. But I'm here to focus on the event, not the upcoming products, and the iMac 27-inch and the Mac Pro are only rumored for next year. So I think that at the end of 2021, we should expect only three computers to come out on this event. The M1X MacBook Pro 14 inch and the M1X MacBook Pro 16 inch. And of course, like the M1 event, we will see an M1X Mac mini. These three computers will be redesigned. No computer will be left behind. So the M1X MacBook Pro 14 inch will feature the same upgrade that the 15 inch got to the 16 inch. So smaller bezels, and on top of that, we will see squared off corners, of course, and new colors. I think that we should get a better webcam and, of course, the M1X chip. But in terms of that, I think it's more likely that we get the same performance and same everything on the 14 inch as the 16 inch. I think that Apple will use this opportunity to create what we call the same design, same performance, different sizes. So like the iPad Pro, we got 11 inch and a 12.9 inch. And like the iPhones 11 Pro and 11 Pro Max. So we should expect a 14 inch computer with the same performance as a 16 inch. So the differences will be only probably 10% or 5% because of the cooling. That's only be the only reason for buying the 16 inch in terms of 14 inch. Maybe that 5% is for you, I don't know. But the 16 inch will probably have, or most likely will have a bigger battery which would indicate it to have a better battery life. This is crazy because the M1 MacBook Pro 13 inch has 20 hour battery life, while the M1X chip is rumored to be as efficient and more powerful. So with an even bigger battery, like a 99 watt per hour battery, just like a 16 inch has right now, that would give us, I don't know, 24 hours, 30 hours of battery life, insane battery life that will enable you to work on Final Cut or Logic or a high, very high performance state for a very long time. Because right now, if you are working on Final Cut or other very high performance tasks, 
your battery life just drains out. It takes out of the juice of your computer very, very fast. So it's very incredible that Apple is introducing a more, more efficient chip on a same amount of battery. But the 14 inch will see a redesign, just like the 16 inch. The 16 inch will probably have a little bit better speakers and with the squared off design, it might keep the same batteries and of course it will have smaller bezels, better cameras and better IO just like the 14 inch will have probably only ethernet ports. Let's see, let's get it an ethernet. But if not, we only really see HDMI and SD card slots with three Thunderbolt 3 or USB 4 ports and an iPhone jack. So with the better IO, we should expect an overall better computer. While Apple last October released the M1 or November released the M1 chip, they released also three computers, the M1 MacBook Air, which was the entry model and the M1 MacBook Pro. But also they released the Mac Mini. The Mac Mini was the overall champion of this event because it was the best performance per dollar that you could buy. Why? Because the Mac Mini only cost around $700 and it was an amazing buy because it has the same performance as the MacBook Pro or even better because it had a way better cooling system. So the Mac Mini doesn't bring a display, keyboard or mouse. You have to buy those separately. But if you have already a keyboard, mouse and a display, I think that, gee, the Mac Mini was the best buy to get. And I think that even now, if you get a refurbished Mac Mini for $600, you will get the best computer that you can buy right now in the world. The best deal in tech, the Mac Mini. But Apple in these events, I think it will surpass it because they will launch a redesigned Mac Mini um, M1X chip. So John Poster has already leaked the design and it will look like the older first generation Mac Mini with a glass top and aluminum borders. Of course, it will be a little bit like that model, but it will be very fun to look at. And this Mac mini will have the same IO as the old Intel Mac mini. So four Thunderbolt 4 ports, and of course, HDMI port, 10 gigabytes, SD card slot. And uh, I think that it will have a uh, USB A. Let's see what happens. And I'm very excited for this M1X Mac mini. It will be the best deal in tech. And if Apple keeps up this lineup of keeping the same prices as an Intel computer, we might see the Intel Mac mini, which right now costs $1,100 die and see that the M1X Mac mini will replace it at the same price. And I'm very excited to see if Apple can enable the M1X chip at this full performance for just $1,100. Imagine, imagine that that would be a crazy deal. And this M1X Mac mini with a redesign with better IO, if you are using like a pre display XTR or you have an external display that's very good and you need the most performance for your computer, do not buy, do, really do not buy the M1X Mac Pros if you don't need to move around because this M1X Mac mini will be just half the price probably of the 16 inch and have the same performance. This is just crazy, just like what happens right now with the M1 MacBook Pro and the Mac Mini, because the Mac Mini costs almost half of that computer. While the iMac will probably cost the same as the 16 inch MacBook Pro, because right now the M1 iMac costs probably around the same as the M1 MacBook Pro. Let's see what happens. In my opinion, I think that Apple will discontinue the M1 MacBook Pro because it's too close for the 14 inch MacBook Pro with the M1X. And I think that that one costing around $800, $1,800 and the M1X 16 inch costing around $2,000 or $2,100. I think that the $3,500 M1 computer with no redesign, less ports and worst overall computer, RAM, speakers, display. I think that it doesn't make any sense that Apple continues to sell that computer. And of course, I'm very happy. No M2 on this event, that doesn't make any sense. And in this event, I'm not expecting to get the iPads too. I think that if Apple wants to release the iPads separately from the iPhone uh, next week, I think they will do a separate event in October because I'm expecting this event to happen in November. But if not, it will happen in October. We leakers and other leakers have not confirmed the specific date of this event. We might get it a little bit later, but we are not sure. And I'm very excited to see what happens with this M1X event. Of course, we will see the M1X chip first and then the three machines that will feature it. And they will all be redesigned, so Apple will have a lot to talk about. And I'm very excited. If you want to know from me, I will get the 16 inch MacBook Pro with the most amount of performance, RAM and storage. I will max out this computer. Let's see, I'm very excited. It will be very expensive, but I need this computer for university. And I think that Right now, it's the best choice for me. But what's your favorite choice? What our computer are you getting? We'll get an M1X chip. Are you getting the, the laptop, the M1X Mac Pros, or the M1X Mac Mini? Or are you waiting for the M1X iMac? Tell me in the comments down below. And also, if you are using an M1, tell me your experience down below one year after. And of course, while you're there, don't forget to subscribe, 
leave a like, turn on the notification bell, and follow me on Twitter and Instagram. This was Tex Sumer talking to you here. Bye.